So, you've been wanting to install some abiotic factor mods, but you just don't know how. Or maybe you do, but it's not working properly. Then follow my steps as I will go over the whole installment process as quick and easy to understand as possible. Also check out the description where I put all the links I used in this video. The first thing you will need to make any of your mods run properly is UE4SS. This is a tool that basically lets players load and run custom mods inside games using Unreal Engine, just like Abiotic Factor. And that's why we are installing this first. Okay, so let's head on over to the download page and install the correct file we need. As you can see, there are multiple downloads. The first one is the main file, and this is the normal mod loader for both Steam and the MS Store version. Download this if you just want to play with mods. The download below is only for players running a dedicated server. And again, the download below that is only for mod developers or debugging crashes. So most players won't need this. Most players only need the main file, even for multiplayer. Everyone just installs the main file on their own PC to use mods. You don't need no dedicated server or debug versions unless you're hosting a server or developing mods. So having that out of the way, I would also recommend downloading 7-zip or WinRAR. And to also enable file name extensions inside of the file explorer. So go on ahead and open the UE4SS main file we downloaded. But as you can see, the file name ends with .zip. That means you can directly open it using the Windows file explorer without the need of using WinRAR or 7-zip. In case it doesn't with anything else, like .rar or .7zip, I'll show you how to extract those later on in the video. But for now, just double click to open it. Inside, you'll see the UE4SS folder and a file called dwmapi.dll. And we'll have to paste these two into the game's directory. What I'm about to show is only for Steam users, but if you own the MS Store version, go to the UE4SS description and read the manual installation. Anyways, go over to Steam, Library, Abiotic Factor, right click Abiotic Factor, go to Manage and Browse Local Files. After that, you'll end up in the game's directory. So now go to Abiotic Factor, Binaries, Win64, and drag and drop or just paste these two files in here. Verify that looks the same on my screen and you should be done with this part. And now it's just on to installing the mods part. This might look a little bit more difficult, but have some trust in the process, man. You'll get it by the end of this video. So installing mods is just nothing else than finding a cool mod, looking at the description where to paste the mod, and that's pretty much it. There are mainly two things the description might say. One might say unzip the downloaded mod into packs directory, or the other might say unzip the downloaded mod into the mods folder of UE4SS that we just put in the game's directory. So for example, here's a mod that says to unzip into the packs folder, and this is what I would do. So, open the game's directory, abiotic factor, content, and now packs. Then just open the zip file, and drag and drop. That's it, mod installed. Just extract the mod using WinRAR or 7-zip, open the extracted folder, and then drag and drop the mod file into packs. And for mods that go into the mods folder, just go back, back, and enter binaries, Win64, UE4SS, and then mods. Now just extract your mod, or drag and drop, and that's it. Some mods might have a different extraction path, but just follow the instructions and you should be fine. So here I want to install damage numbers, but the installation is something we haven't seen before. So after downloading the mod, you can see binaries content. So go to the game's directory and search for binaries content. It's inside Abiotic Factor, and there we have it. Just drag and drop, replace the files if you need to, and now we gotta check the values of mod.txt, which is inside of UE4SS, mods, and there you have it, the text file. Open up the text file, look if the values are correct, and you should be good. This is basically how I install my mods, but if you have any tips or issues, just let me know down in the comments below. Subscribe!